If you would like to get a free swim form analysis like this one, click on the link below to sign up. Hey Emily, thanks for sending me your swim video for analysis. What I did was I'm counting your strokes per 25 swim, um, as well as analyzing your stroke, and then I'm calculating what's called a swall score, how many strokes you take per 25 and add it up to your time it takes you to swim at 25. So on my notes, um, that first 25 you took 22 strokes in 21 seconds. This second 25, you took 21 strokes in 22 seconds. It's a little approximation because you did a flip turn and you didn't just hit the wall. So I just kind of want to use that as reference. So your score for both of those 25s was 43. So this next length, you are swimming with your head out of the water. The goal of the head out of the water is to teach you to dig your hands in the water and get you to dig deeper so you can pull deeper and pull more water past your hip. You're very still flat and shallow. It's like you're putting your hand in the water and you don't know what to do. So you're putting your hand in the water like this, kind of like your elbow and hand at the same time. And then you kind of initiate that pull like this. And you're not like this with your elbow higher, elbow higher than your wrist, than your fingertips and pushing. Now you're swimming back and I don't see any change in your stroke. So because you're not doing the drill correctly, you're not incorporating the drill into your stroke. What I wanted to see is you dig, 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 and then I wanted you to see a swimming with your digging without doing the drill. Next you're doing catch-up drill. And again, your catch-up being up very flat and shallow, just like you swim, a little bit flat and shallow and you're breathing very frequently. I like to see you breathe a little bit less so you can focus on the, um, the focus of the drill. So again, as you're swimming back, I don't see any change in your stroke because you're not doing the drill correctly. You're doing this in the drill, more or less flat and shallow, when I wanna see you catching up deeper so you can get focus on that catch part of the stroke deeper out in front of you, okay? So we want to make sure you're able to do it correctly so you can incorporate it correctly into your stroke. Next, you're doing the underwater doggy paddle drill and you're totally doggy paddling, mostly like this. Um, again, you're flat and shallow like this. When I want you to have this nice, um, I'm going to call it correct anatomical swimmer position. You know, there's that athletic position. This is the anatomical swimmer position. So you should work on the catch part of the stroke, push all the way past your hip because you're just focused on the pull, past your hip, long past your hip. See how I'm rotating? I'm driving my hip rotation past my hip. And again, while you're swimming back, I don't notice any changes because you weren't quite doing the drill correctly. So let's get you doing the drills correctly, meaning when you do head out of the water drill, you're dig, 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 instead of like this, okay? When you're doing the catch-up drill, you're catching up about, let's say, six inches below the surface of the water, working on what's called the catch part of the stroke versus doing this, flat and shallow. And then the underwater doggy paddle drill, again, you're in that catch position, just pushing all the way past your hip, driving your hip rotation with your pull keeping your head down over that black line so you're going to pull correctly. And again, on all three um, 25s where you swam, you pretty much kept your stroke count the same, which is good. You still maintained around 22, 23 strokes per 25, around a 22 to 23 second per 25. Again, because you didn't make any changes with the drill, and I'm hoping... Once we get you doing the drills correctly and incorporating the focus of the drills into your stroke, we can get that stroke count down below 20. Swimming will feel a lot effortless and you're going to be going 20 seconds instead of 22 strokes in 22 seconds. Let's get you to 20 strokes in 22, stro 22 seconds. That's a four stroke count difference and that is actually really good. So hopefully this makes sense if you have questions um, shoot me an email. Maybe we could do a Skype call. Go over it together one-on-one -on, -one on Skype. All right. Make it a great day.